Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wanted to play Red Dead Redemption 2, but you can't because you're broke, because you spent your allowance so you could get some gummy worms, and then you ate them all that night and you threw up? I know I have. Anyway, this is Westbound, a cowboy shooter game set in the late 1800s. Now, I like Westbound. Like, I really like it. Like, I totally didn't spend five hours yesterday to grind to get the Monka gun rifle. <coughs> Anyway, basically, I was playing this game for a while, and I'm wondering, wouldn't it be cool if I got everything in the game? You know, like to flex and say, hey, I'm good at this game. Newsflash, it would, wouldn't be cool, but I'm gonna be honest, it was just an excuse for me to play Westbound, like, all day. So yeah, I ain't complaining. Little did I know that this was one of the worst ideas I've ever had. Now, there was two things against me in this. Firstly expensive guns if you if you go to anybody who's played westbound and completed the entire game and got like all the guns and stuff if you want to give them a cardiac arrest and make them gonna go into a coma for three months because obviously they're a sweat and they're annoying and having a life say gray ridge gun shop golden guns and they will die like right there right then the reason why is when they were making the game they thought what if we make a bunch of overpowered golden guns it's a pretty good, but make them so expensive that nobody in their right mind and mental totality will go and grind for them. Oh, okay, sure, how much? I get like 50k. Unfortunately, there were people who weren't in their right mind and grinded to get it. These include the Golden Mondragon, which is 50k, the Mo Golden Moiser Nugget, which is 25k, and the Golden Buffalo Rifle, which you have to get when you at the back carriage of the train, and you need to get really lucky to get it. Now, and there's my second problem. Maybe wondering, 50k isn't so bad, why are you yapping so much? Well, simply, inflation. Basically, inflation works that it makes money worth less and less as time goes on. So, like, in the 1980s, 250,000 was worth, like, a million in nowadays. And you're thinking, oh, well, that's not much. Yeah, you're right. But the problem is, is this is 1890-something. I don't know, my brain cells are deteriorated. Which means that I like only print one dollar since one dollar was like a hot ten bucks back then, meaning that I can co only carry eighty dollars in my bag, meaning that I'm gonna have to grind my absolute life away. Now there are multiple ways to make money in this game. You can become a good person and sell criminals for their bounty. You can uh. Mine, you know, go mining away and hopefully get some $300 diamonds or something with your level 5 pickaxe. You can hunt for animals, but all of those are boring. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to like grind and wait 20 minutes for someone with an actual good bounty that I can arrest for like 30 bucks and they'll probably kill me anyway if they have a good bounty. I don't want to go mining and hopefully get lucky because, like, I have a level 5 pickaxe. The best you can get is level 6. And with a level, like, 5 pickaxe, you can make, like, 5,000 in half an hour. And I'm not joking. All I got was $3 copper. Like, I got 10 $3 coppers, like, 30 bucks of silver, and one gold. So that leaves one thing. One word. Robbery. So there are multiple places along the map, and all of these have like a different point. Like Tumbleweed is the main city because it's in the middle of the map, and it's also the biggest, despite having what only like the second biggest bank in the server. And um, it also where the train goes through. The train like goes right through Tumbleweed. Stone Creek has the smallest bank, but that's because it has the most things. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. Because it has mining things. And it also has an increased hunting chance. Uh, Forker City is like the main spawning camp. And it's a safe zone. And it, the reason it exists is it's right next to Tumbleweed. Uh, Grey Ridge is like an exotic place on the edge of the map. And the reason it's the end, because it's like so rare on the edge of the map, they also had to give it the rarest guns. It's where you can get the Mondra guns, as I've mentioned before, like the golden guns and stuff like that. Uh, Rust Ridge Quarry is um like a mine and only place, and it's like exotic on the edge of the map.
and because there's like nothing there it is it doesn't have like a respawn rate so like at other places like tumbleweed if you get killed there you can't spawn there for 15 seconds uh, so you can't spawn at the place where you spawn last for 15 seconds but at Rushwood's Cry there's no delay you can just get in there and spawn it and um st Red Rocks Camp is kind of like um <clears throat> it's like kind of like a place just like on the edge of the map. It's kind of like Rushwich Quarry, but there's no mining, and that's and like that's the only difference basically because they're both on like the edge of the map, and they're both um say, and this one's a safe zone, which is good, and they they're both like kind of like camps, obviously considering. And then last but not least, Fort Arthur, which isn't a safe zone, but it's kind of like a place where you can battle it out as a cowboy outlaw, since outlaws, like, you know, have, like, um, no, um, no, like, they have no, like, as you, I'm losing my brain cells, but, like, outlaw kill team, keep team killers on, so your own team can kill you, and the reason I think they delayed it is because it's, like, connected to the most places, like, it's connected to all of these places, so, yeah. That's probably why. Okay, I was planning to grind, like, and get, like, maybe, like, $1,000 committing felonies until Subi Mech Soup joined it. For those of you who don't know, Subi Mech Soup is the absolute chat of this game. Okay, so, I think he means Cassidy, so, we have to go on a great quest across the map to find Subi Mech Soupy. Okay, so we're here, and apparently Subi Mech Soup is here. Let's see if he's here. Oh my god, the chat's here. Okay, so I think me and Subi are just going to do a few bits of grinding to get some money, and yeah. Okay, so I was about to switch strategies because I've just been grinding without Supi for like an hour and a half now, and I've only made like eighty dollars, and like I've died four times and I've been pretty frustrated. And I was thinking about starting my mining strategy, but Supi's here. So yeah, I'm gonna probably just grind with him again, and you'll probably get another one of those crappy montages. So yeah, bye.
Hello. Yeah, um... I've been playing this game a lot, right, and I've come into a problem. Basically, I have had zero luck. Like, I've done, like, eight times, and I've robbed, like, four places. I have literally made, like, zero dollars. Like, at the start, I had, like, 1,500, and now I have this much. I'm not really getting anywhere. So, I think I'm going to switch up my strategies tomorrow, and then I'm going to go to bed. So, I'm going to go to bed tonight, and then I'm going to switch my strategy up tomorrow. So, yeah, that's my idea. When I got back on the next day, I paid off my bounty. Spawned at Stone Creek and began my mission to mine. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I did a bit of mining, only like maybe like 10 minutes, and I actually made quite a bit of money. The only problem is basically um, when you mine stuff, it goes to your inventory, and if you die, you lose your inventory. So basically, whenever you die, you have to just pray that you didn't lose anything of value. Like, I lost an emerald, which is worth $80, so yeah, that was kind of annoying. And there is something called pacifisma where you become a civilian and nobody can kill you. Like, cow cowboys nor outlaws can kill you. The problem is, is the game then taxes you, so basically you make less money. Which is the problem in the first place. So yeah, it's pretty annoying. Okay, so today was a little bit different. Today was a rest day. I just, I got up and I just played other games and I wanted to see a few of my friends and stuff. I didn't actually play today, so there, so there isn't really any recording of this day. So, um, yeah, I don't know why. I'm just telling you. Noise.